What's up everybody, it's Daydreams. Welcome back to the channel for another Clash of Kings video. If you're new here, hit that red subscribe button down below. We do daily videos here on the channel and tell your alliance immediately because I promise you guys will get better and you will improve as a team. We have tons of guides, tons of team play videos. So go ahead and just look through the playlist, look through my channel. You'll find everything that you need about Clash of Kings. So guys, today we're going to go over the update that's coming up. It's update 2.20.0 and uh, there's a lot of new things in this and we're going to look at the things that we like and the things that we don't like. If you looked at my last video, I talk about how we're tired of the gimmicks. We're tired of the same old stuff. You can basically predict everything that they're coming out with. It's just new things that's going to get people to spend money to make their buffs better. Or to increase um, levels on things. And it's basically all just become, ever since prestiging, the new, that was the five new castle levels. Ever since then, it's been all about just your buffs. Grapheme stone, research stone, equipment set, um, the armor sets um whatever they're called um the stats and then of course the equipment so um yeah and then the heroes that's all about your buffs as well everything you're you're the dragon that's about buffs as well it's just become ridiculous to where people can get such insane percentages that if you get maxed out everything you are godlike like if you're going up against someone that's over 100 million power it's highly likely they have everything maxed out guys if you've got the money to spend on that kind of power then you've got the money to spend on everything else to get maxed out so you're basically wasting your time i'd say at 150 million power and over you're wasting your time they have maxed out everything 350 percent plus archer attack someone said they saw someone with 400 percent archer attack which if i saw that i'd probably snap my ipad in half okay let's go ahead and get into the update okay so the hero trials new feature for the hero palace hero trials by clearing stages in the hero trials you can get hero related items including hero shards which are um these things right here you can get hero shards experience and materials for equipment sets so the equipment sets are like these things here you can get the materials for um these things like uh five star stones and um uh, blueprints stuff like that uh, maybe some dragon stones stuff like that so that's going to be in the hero palace it's going to be a new feature um and it's going to be called hero trials so it's probably like a little game kind of like the dragon game where you like sit there and attack stuff um we want real events where we actually play against people that's what we want and we would love to we would love to earn these rewards from it okay there are separated levels in the hero trial you can get rewards by defeating monsters of each level sounds pretty familiar don't it guys does it sound familiar? I swear, the creativity of the development team is mind-blowing. Like, these guys, um, you know, they deserve, like, Nobel Nobel um, awards for their creativity. It's it's staggering how creative they are. Grapheme Stone, Research Stone, um, every, it, they're just, it's, it's wonderful. It's just wonderful. Let's keep going. Okay. There are separated levels in the Hero Trials. You can get rewards by defeating monsters of each level. You can only challenge each level once a day. However, you can buy extra chances when your VIP level meets the requirement. Hmm. How convenient. Okay, Dragon Skill Upgrading. Now you can upgrade the Dragon Skills. The higher the level of the skills, the more attribute bonuses they bring. So, we can get the skills here. As you can see, you got Deep Breath, Astral Blessing, Tailwind, War Command, Dragon Guardian... Um, the leader more marching troops so what's it do guys it just makes your buffs better makes your buffs better so uh yeah looks like these are the ones that i can do these four um for my dragon level i believe um so let's go ahead and look again to upgrade dragon skills you have to consume other spare skills the higher the quality of the skill you want to upgrade the more spare skills you have to consume so um yeah we're gonna have to um consume let's see here we can okay that's the skills up here so astral it's not updated yet it's just right there so if you want to go look at it it's right there at the bottom right you can see all of the different skills that you can get so i mean yeah i guess you could change things like um for healing and for building and for attack but like i said guys the creativity isn't that great it's still the same stuff same stuff so um let's keep going kingdom conquest mission during the Kingdom Conquest, you can earn Kingdom Total Points in a different way. When you earn enough Kingdom Total Points, you will receive a reward. Um, what's this different kind of way? Now, I've always said that the Kingdom Conquest and Ancient Battlefield, 
especially need objectives like you should like maybe try to hold buildings or there should be things that pop up on the map and then you guys have to fight over them uh, maybe some resource tiles uh, have a reward on them and then you have to like sit on the tile for like 10 minutes objectives like that would be really neat and would really mix things up because right now it's just a shit show and everyone's attacking each other <laughs> okay new feature kingdom mission these missions need all lords of the kingdom to complete together completing kingdom missions will add points to your kingdom total points not in personal points so it's pretty cool so you can team up with your kingdom and you can create you can complete missions together hopefully it's kind of like what i said you can hold a building or do something together um, we have changed the level limitation for participating kingdom conquest from level 15 to level 20. it's probably a good thing because um if you're not at least level 20 you're wasting your time in the conquest i wouldn't enter an enemy kingdom unless i was at least 26 and then i would still make sure that i'm being very cautious okay magic mirror and magic cape brand new items magic mirror and magic cape use the magic mirror to search for lords who have the most resource okay food mithril iron and uh wood in your kingdom safe resources excluded so you can use this magic mirror and you can find out who has the most resources in your kingdom um that you can go rob so that's a, actually a very useful skill use magic cape to avoid being found by magic mirrors okay so if you um put a cape up say you've got a farm that's your depot farm and you don't want people to know that you've got you know hundreds of millions of resources you might want to get you some magic mirrors to put on there okay the blossom event this is an event that's coming i'm assuming wishing in the wishing well you have a chance to receive flowers okay that's right here uh you can send them to the lords you admire okay so it's blossom events like flowers you can get more flowers gather in the world map to get cherry and lavender use it to obtain rewards so you're going to be wanting to gather during this blossom event to get uh to get rewards so you might want to switch your skills over to um to development just for uh the next few days until ancient battlefield might not be worth it okay dragon optimization add the dragon preview you can check the dragon appearance skills acquire access before you got to the dragon egg okay um, well, I don't have the blue dragon yet, so I'm sure that's what that's for. Added the share function. Now you can share your dragon information to the alliance. Added the dragon level and the dragon interface. Um, it will tell you a little about the two new buildings. I'm not sure when the two new buildings will be available, though. That's what it says right here. Um, so here are the two new buildings. Research workshop. And uh, the research workshop is where research stones are being produced and stored. So at least you now have a way to make research stone so that's uh i guess a good thing upgrade in the research workshop to increase the production and capacity okay so that's a good thing you're gonna be able to build your own research stones it's the first good and creative thing that i've seen yet um other than like the conquest missions so that's a good thing guys uh that's one good thing that they've came up with is a way that we can um you know produce um some uh research stones okay that i'm guessing they're going to be over here so let's take a look here um it's not like it's not showing me what they are but i'm guessing that's what they are i don't think they're um i don't even think they're in uh the game in this update i think they're coming very soon so that's what they're working on um the one on the right i'm assuming is the um research workshop then the one on the left is i'm assuming the sage tower okay the sage tower upgrade the sage tower to unlock new books and chapters so I don't know what the books and chapters do maybe it's um events maybe it's spells maybe it's rewards who knows but i think they're in the development stages so that's why um you know they're not um they're not in the game yet but it's saying that um they might be in the game sometime next week is when i'm assuming that they will be in the game so um that's everything for the update notes that i have um you know like i said guys they're still lacking a lot of creativity it's a lot of the same a lot of stones um a lot of sets a lot of dragon a lot of skills a lot of buffs a lot of percentages 10 percent, 7 plus 2500 77 plus 300 plus 10 percent okay so you know um if you love what clash of kings has been doing and you want more of the same more of the same that they've been doing for the last year you'll be thrilled with this update um to me the only thing that I think that they corrected their mistake on and is that it's a good thing is the fact that they now have a workshop right here, right in the middle of the screen, where you can now produce research stones, which 
before you could gather them slowly on the map but it was very slowly so now you can at least upgrade a building and it's going to let you um you know get the research then see this right here in the middle of the screen at the top this blue thing i think that could be the building where you go and you play in these awesome cross kingdom events so um you know i'm gonna keep saying this guys and i'm gonna make a video and we're gonna tweet it all over as a matter of fact my last video guys i'm gonna leave the link in the description and and it'll pop up at the end of this video send that over to clash of kings put ash clash of kings on facebook and um or you can just go to my clash of kings page on facebook and then share it from there and then on twitter it's at clash of kings cok you guys need to really flood their social media if you're sick and tired of what's going on you want to change the change that i'm fighting for i can't fight alone if they don't see serious backing by you guys then it's an empty it's an empty threat like okay well it's just one guy making you know videos that says he's gonna quit if we don't fix things but if the people don't quit um maybe we could um do a boycott like where we're not going to spend a single dollar for a week everyone will spend what they need to spend so that they have gold for the week and we'll do like a boycott for the whole week we really need to hurt them financially and i'm not trying to hurt them i'm not trying to hurt their company but we have to make them know that they're they're really just um they're blowing it they're making a great game terrible for the last year we've had to deal with this ever since the prestige then the svip that was bad enough guys a prestige 5 max castle was strong it would beat the hell out of a 30 but now oh my god it oh my god i wish i could even see a max prestige 5 without the research stones graphene stones um equipment uh 43 equipment equipment set dragon hero i would love to see what um it used to look like before all that stuff um you know i bet people would have maybe like maybe a 200 percent attack um, in one or two categories then maybe 180 percent attack in the other two now you've got people in 200s over everything and then 300s and some guy even has 400s over everything so it's gotten really bad guys and now um the competitive nature of the game has tanked because of it so they need to bring back um certain events They're, they need to have an event where maybe everyone has the same size castle just one event maybe you could like pay some gold to where everybody has like um, a level 30 castle um and then you have objectives you have so many speed ups you have so many healing speed ups you get everything when you start and then um maybe like you could even do like a king of the hill last man standing there's the, the options are endless and they can make so much money from this by having people pay to enter the events then you could give out small rewards in return and then um you know and people could pay a lot of gold to host private events rent out the server space if someone spent 50 or 100 dollars to rent out server space let them do it why not the, it would grow the game there would be a lot more hype people need stuff to do i'm bored to death right now guys it's monday we are at peace even if we weren't at peace this kingdom is a year and a half old there's no one left to kill we've literally killed everybody and everybody we haven't killed is basically like family even cua i don't want to hurt them we've been battling we battled for over a year straight i'm done battling them like it, it isn't even fun anymore like the ones that are left are weathered and um the farms are all dusty and broken it's just uh it's just a mess so um you know kingdom jumping had everyone excited and then they killed the hype they killed the hype everyone was excited about kingdom jumping and we need to actually probably sign a petition you know what i'm gonna find a website where i can start a petition for kingdom jumping and guys tell all your alliance members to come to over to the channel tell your whole kingdom that if they want kingdom jumping or kingdom merging to come and we'll sign petitions i think people want kingdom jumping over merging that way you could choose where you go obviously there would be rules maybe a six month cooldown you could choose one kingdom every six months that's plenty of time where people can't just go wreck every kingdom if you can only wreck two kingdoms a year i promise it's going to be pretty fair and then um these big castles that spend a lot they're not going to want to come and bully you in some small kingdom guys they're going to want to go and find big dogs that they can go fight and have fair battles with that's how i am i love fair competition so i'm assuming that's how they are too so thank you guys so much for watching guys i need your i need your help I'm trying to break through the Clash Royale community, but my Clash Royale videos aren't getting very many views yet because I only have 
maybe a thousand Clash Royale subscribers. So those of you that are like my family from Clash of Kings, I really, really need your help. When you see me post a Clash of Kings video, I know that most of you don't watch them. I know a lot of you guys that don't even play Clash Royale go and click the video so that it gets a view. I really appreciate that. If you can just click the video, and if you really want to, hit the like button. You don't have to. Just click the video and then go back on about your day if you don't want to watch it. But please just click the video so that way I can get at least a thousand views on each of those. Because what it's going to start doing is hurting my sponsorship opportunities. Because they see all these great views on Clash of Kings, but they're like, wait... Well, when he posts something different, he doesn't even get a thousand views. So, how is he going to get a thousand views on our sponsored video? So, it's really going to hurt me, guys, if you don't at least just click on the Clash Royale videos. Because I don't want to stop doing them just because of sponsorships. I really enjoy it. It's really fun, and I love the community. So, please help me out, guys, because you're my base. You're my home base. You're uh, everything to the channel. And, um, yeah, if I don't have your support, then I will be nothing. So, thank you guys so much. Teamwork makes dream work. Smash the thumbs up button couple videos showing up on the screen right now if you want to click them and help me out and you can hit that button right there in the middle to subscribe see you in the next one peace